Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of Chirping from the Box. Today in the NHL, we had yet another coaching casualty. And no, it was not Mike Geo of the St. Louis Blues. It was actually the Chicago Blackhawks firing head coach Joel Quenville, along with assistants Kevin Deneen and Alf Samuelson. And like a lot of people, I was definitely surprised. Um, I thought he deserved a much better fate in Chicago considering everything he's done for the organization, you know, winning three cups in five years and ending their drought and, you know, among other things, and just rebuilding that team overall. Um, and their woes over the past couple of years were definitely not his fault. I mean, when you lose a guy like Marion Hosa to, you know, some freak disorder, it's, you know, he's a hard guy to replace. He, you know, played both ways, both on the power play and the penalty kill. Definitely one of the best two-way forwards in the league. And you just can't replace a guy like that. And despite having all the superstars with Jonathan Tays, Patrick Kane, Brent Seabrook, Dun Duncan Keith, you just can't replace a guy like Marion Hosa. And that's not Quenville's fault. That's really on Stan Bowman to do that. And he obviously hasn't done that yet, you know. I'm not saying Hosa is completely replaceable because of the cal caliber player he was, um, but you definitely have to find a way to fill that void in some ways. So that's really on the GM to do that. And uh, you know, I you, you try not to feel bad for professional athletes because they're wealthier than the rest of us. They're living everyone else's dreams, but I feel bad for Quenville in the sense that he definitely deserved a better fate. Uh, he deserved to leave Chicago on his own terms. And I hope he takes the rest of the season off to just reflect and decide what his next steps will be, whether he wants to get back into coaching, you know, maybe going go into a commentating role or just retire from the game overall. He, he really deserves to, to, you know, choose his own next course of action. So I, I wish him the best. I wish the Blackhawks the best as they, you know, continue to rebuild. Um, I think it is going to be a slower rebuilding process there than a lot of people think. Um, I just think of the 2017 playoffs when they got, you know, their butts handed to them against the Nashville Predators. They were the number one seed and they just embarrassed themselves. So they, they've got a lot of soul searching to do there. So maybe, you know, this head coaching change will be step one. So I, I wish everyone the best in this. I want to thank you all for watching and we'll talk next time.